Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're gonna talk about three simple, easy to get catfish baits for folks that are fishing from the bank and from a boat. Well folks, it don't matter if you're brand new to catfishing and have never caught a catfish and are watching this video to figure out what bait to use, or if you're an experienced tournament angler. All of us ask the same question, what am I gonna use for bait? Now, if you're an experienced tournament angler, you may want the biggest, juiciest, oiliest bait out there, and you may have to go catch it. You may have to throw a cast net. Because you want that fresh, juicy, awesome bait to catch that winning fish for a tournament. But if you're new to fishing for catfish, you just want to catch some fish. You just want a quick, easy way to get out on the water and catch some fish. And this video is for you. Now, bait number one is super easy. Uh, the cool thing about it is not only will it catch your target species of catfish, but it will catch some other fish. And that can be important whether you're catching those fish for fun or for bait, which we'll get to in a minute. But that first bait that you're gonna wanna try are worms. Yes, folks, the good old traditional earthworm, whether it be a big giant night crawler or some of the wiggly red worms, they will all catch catfish and other fish. Generally speaking, they're easy to come by. You can dig them up in your yard or your flower bed, or you can buy them in practically any bait and tackle store. Heck, even Walmart sells them in their sporting goods section, so they're easily accessible, they're affordable, and they're easy to deal with. Now, when I say easy to deal with, some of you may think they're kind of gross and nasty and wiggly and slimy, but they're harmless. Uh, in case you don't know, they can't bite you, they can't sting you or anything else. They're just kind of slimy and they kind of wiggly around and yeah, that black stuff squirts out of them when you stick the hook in them, but they're a great bait. Now, generally speaking, I would be fishing these things on a one alt to three alt hook. You do not need a giant hook uh, when you're using earthworms as bait. You can fish them on the bottom, put them on a Carolina rig with a small sinker and put them on the bottom, or you can suspend them underneath a bobber so they're up further in the water column. If you're fishing them on the bottom, which means letting them sink all the way to the bottom of the water that you're fishing in, I would cast further away from the bank than keeping them close. This will help eliminate some of the smaller fish that may be pecking on these worms and trying to eat them. Now, while these small fish can be irritating, the good thing about them is if you re-rig with some smaller hooks, something in the number four to maybe number eight range, you can catch some of these smaller fish. A lot of times these are bluegill and sunfish. The cool thing about red worms is they will not only catch the catfish that you're after, but they will catch some of the smaller fish that you can use as bait. And that brings us to bait number two, and that's bluegill and sunfish. These are some of the pretty little fish, small fish uh, that you catch. Usually it's one of the first fish that you catch as a kid, catching them underneath the bobber, like I said, putting a uh, small piece of a red worm or earthworm on a uh, small hook, something in the uh, number four to number eight range, putting it underneath the bobber, 18 to 24 inches, and you cast this out, uh, and your bobber goes under, boom, you catch them. Uh, these fish that you catch, these smaller fish, make excellent catfish bait, uh, whether you fish them whole uh, and alive, or if you cut them up. Now, one thing to keep in mind is they are not legal to use in all places. So make sure that you check the local laws where you're at to see if using sunfish, bluegill, brim, whatever you wanna call them, is legal. Now, most people that are new to fishing are getting out there in warmer weather, and these sunfish are usually up and down the bank in warmer weather. As the uh, leaves start to get green on the trees, these fish will move up toward the bank, and they're either spawning or pre-spawn staging. And uh, you can catch these things very close to the banks. So even you guys that only have bank access, you can catch brim bluegill, uh, these sunfish up and down the bank within four or five feet of the shore. Now coming in at number three is probably the easiest bait of all to come by uh, because all you need is a grocery store. You don't need to go digging in your flower bed. Uh, you don't need to go catch fish and that's using chicken breast. Now some of you may think, hey, that's really simple or that's a uh, gimmicky bait. Let me tell you something, I'm a fishing guide 
And when I go out on a fishing trip, half of the bait I use is chicken breast. I too thought it was a joke. I thought it would not catch fish. I thought it would only catch small fish. But after catching hundreds of fish on this bait, some of them up to 54 pounds, I've come to realize that this bait will work and in most situations, it will outperform fresh live bait. And I believe part of this has to do with the mussels and aquatic snails uh, that inhabit the bottom of many lakes and rivers. And if you don't have those, chicken may not work as well, but I can tell you this, it's worth giving chicken breasts a try if you don't have anything else to go with. Now I know a lot of people will tell you to use chicken livers and chicken livers have caught millions of catfish over the years. Uh, arguably one of the most popular catfish baits out there. But here's the problem that I have with using chicken liver. One, it's very mushy. It's like trying to get a piece of jello to stick to a hook. Uh, there's all kinds of tricks and contraptions and everything you can do, but you don't have to do any of that stuff when you're using chicken breast. You don't have to dry it. You don't have to put it in pantyhose. You don't have to use any type of special devices to keep it on the hook. Chicken breast, you just put it on the hook. Chicken liver is a lot more of a pain to deal with. It is cheaper, I will say that. But for me, I would much rather use chicken breast when I'm looking for what many call a grocery store bait. Now what I suggest is you cut this stuff up into small pieces about the size of the end of your thumb. You do not need a large piece of bait. I hear so many people that are using half a chicken breast or throwing a whole chicken breast out there and complaining about how expensive it is. Listen folks, I can take one chicken breast that's probably dependent on the cost of chicken, $1.50 to $1.75. I can cut it up into multiple pieces and I can fish all day on that. You can't beat that. Now, there are some tricks out there for adding Jello and Kool-Aid and all kinds of stuff. And I've got videos on that. Go look uh, through the videos that I have on this channel. I'll put some links down below to them. It does work. It does produce fish. But in my experience, plain chicken breasts will catch just as many fish, just as big as adding any of the concoctions to it like Jello or Kool-Aid or garlic. One more thing people always ask about using other parts of a chicken like chicken thighs. Yes, you can. Uh, chicken thighs work just fine. They actually probably have more fat in them. They're a lot less expensive than chicken breasts. People ask, well, why don't you use chicken thighs? Well, I'll be honest with you. It's uh, kind of a, it's a simple reason. When my wife goes to the grocery store and buys a big old pack of chicken for us to eat at home, it's very easy for me to pull a chicken breast out of there, stick it in a Ziploc bag and use that. The bottom line is, I've got a wife that's going to the bait store a couple of times a week. Well, folks, if you're new to chasing catfish and want to get out there and catch them, hopefully these three simple baits will make it easy for you to get out there on the water next time. Have a good time with your family and catch some catfish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No. No, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.